Hi, I'm Jim Minturt, Director of the Purdue Center for Commercial Agriculture, and thanks for joining us for our review of the June 2020 survey results for the Ag Economy Barometer. The barometer improved substantially this month to a reading of 117 compared to a reading of 103 a month ago, and up 21 points compared to its low point back in April. Uh, farmers became more optimistic about both current conditions on their farming operations as well as their future expectations as both the index of current conditions and future expectations rose. The future expectation index rose 14 points to a reading of 126 and the index of current conditions rose 16 points to a reading of 99 this month. Farmers had a more favorable view about making large investments in their farming operation this month than they did a month earlier. The Farm Capital Investment Index rose to a reading of 60 compared to 50 a month ago and up all the way from 38 two months ago. That still leaves the index about 12 points below its high point for this year, which was back in February when the index hit 72. Farmers were also less pessimistic about farmland values when we asked them to look ahead 12 months the percentage of farmers expecting farmland values to decline fell to 21% this month from 29% a month ago and 35% that felt that way two months ago. When we asked farmers to look farther ahead and look five years into the future, they became significantly more optimistic about farmland values with 55% of the farmers expecting to see higher farmland values five years from now. That compares to 40% that felt that way just a month ago. For the fourth month in a row, we asked farmers about the impact of coronavirus on their farm's profitability this year. Farmers are still pretty concerned about the impact of coronavirus on profitability, but less so than they were earlier this spring. Back in March, 40% of the farmers in our survey said they were worried about the impact of coronavirus on profitability. This month, that was down to 27%. We also asked farmers if they expect their farm's financial performance this year to be about the same as last year, better than last year or worse than last year. Earlier this spring, over half of the farmers in our survey said they expected their farm's financial performance to be worse than last year. On this month's survey, that was down to 42% that felt that way. We also asked farmers in this month's survey whether they expect to ask their landlords for a reduction in their cash rental rate for the 2021 crop season because of COVID-19. A month ago, 27% said they expected to ask for a reduction in cash rental rates. This month, that was down to 17%. We asked farmers this month, to what degree does the Coronavirus Food Assistance Program relieve their concerns about the impact of COVID-19 on their farm's income in 2020? This was the first opportunity we had to ask that question now that farmers actually know the details of the CFAP program. 60% of the farmers in our survey said they were either somewhat or completely relieved about their concerns about farm income as a result of the CFAP program. We also asked farmers whether or not they think it will be necessary for the President and Congress to pass another bill to provide more economic assistance to farmers here in 2020 as a result of COVID-19. A month ago, two-thirds of the farmers in our survey said they felt an additional bill would be needed. This month, that was slightly lower, but not much, at 64 percent. To learn more about changes in farmers' business practices as a result of COVID-19, we asked farmers about the amount of business they're conducting online, and 41% of the farmers in our survey said they were doing more business online this year as a result of COVID-19. When we asked farmers about whether or not concerns about COVID-19 would make them less likely to attend in-person field days, workshops, or other educational events, 53% said they would be less likely to do so in the remainder of 2020. That wraps up our results for the June 2020 Ag Economy Barometer Survey. The next Ag Economy Barometer will be released on August 4th. Um, you can also, in addition to this video, let's subscribe to our Commercial AgCast podcast where we discuss the barometer in more detail. And finally, we have an updated Crop Outlook webinar coming up on Monday, July 13th uh, at 1230 p.m. And you can also view the video of that on our YouTube channel. On behalf of the Purdue Center for Commercial Agriculture, I'm Jim Mintert. Thanks for joining us.